Uh, I'm, China, I'm from China Mobile. Uh, my name is uh, Xuan. Uh, it's very pronounced hardly. Uh, I'm the edge cloud uh, computing architecture. For this presentation, I will to tell the story about uh, the edge computing with uh, uh, OpenShift. So, so I want to tell the uh, background. So what is edge computing? The edge computing is a computing and network deep fusion. So I draw uh, five, uh, four uh, pictures here so we can see which is the edge computing. So we can check the, uh, the, the red start. For the edge, the environment is very little. It didn't like uh, the data center, uh, which is can contain 1,000 uh, bare metal machine. In the, edge, in the edge, edge computing center, it can only, uh, can, it only uh, have uh, 10 or 20 uh, bare metal machines. So the resource is limited. And, and I think this is why we want to use uh, a Docker a container technologies in this field. Uh, because in the telecom field, we almost use OpenStack. But now I think this is a Kubernetes opportunity. So in the age, uh, we, uh, celebrate, uh, we uh, celebrate two parts. One is the network, network side edge computing, which is below the uh, the wellness station. And for the user side, it's computing is some like the, the gateway. We can put it in, uh, in the home or in the industry. So for the, in the age computing, we can provide the, the, the ice, the pass, and the SAS. In telecom field, we are always followed the ETISI or some other uh, international uh, standards. But and now I, I present this, the, this architecture from the ETSI MEC. So it's very complicated. We can see in the, this picture in the left hand. So there is a lot of the uh, interfaces in here. And uh, they are not defined clearly now. But in China, 5G and the cloud and the edge computing are, are very popular. A lot of companies like the um, Baidu, Ali, uh, Huawei, ZT, and the other uh, vendors, they want to use these technologies in China. And in this, um, in this slide, I uh, unlist some the, of, uh, pros and cons. So for the pros, it is based on the ETI CIV uh, architecture. And it has defined the network uh, infrastructure information and the location API, UI identity API, and bandwidth management. So maybe all the people in here I don't know what is it. So I can uh, give us uh, an example. So when we open our phone, so you will see there is a 4G at the uh, at the top of the our uh, screen. So all the when we uh, when we clip the uh, Chrome application, so we can search the internet. So all the data flow is in the telecom cloud. We call it it's some like the private cloud. So all this data flow is in the pri private cloud. But in the edge computing, who is our customers? In China, maybe it's a uh, um, Baidu. Uh, Tencent, Alibaba, and some industry company. So, because all these vendors are from uh, are not in the telecom uh, field, they are our uh, com they are our uh, customer. So we have to provide it as the cloud, public cloud. But in the ETSM, you see a standard. It sound like private. It's something like it is defined like the private cloud. So it's not satisfy our requirement. So I give the conclusion here is the uh, I mean the NIV architecture is too complicated and is far away from our product. But we can use the API which is have defined in the ATS MEC. So 
in the NIV field, which is in the telecom uh, companies, it's all we, uh, all, we all use OpenStack. But in edge computing, we want to use Kubernetes. So I try to uh, refactor the architecture from the uh, ETS IMEC. So we, can, we, set up, we uh, split there are two fields. One is the NIV field. This is the telecoms things, so we, uh, we don't care about that. And another one is the EC field. EC field is edge computing field. There is an edge computing operating manage center. It's something like the portal. and can manage a lot of the uh, um, did, uh, edge computing a cluster. And it can provide the Vim, the container, and the some third-party API. And for the NMV, it only put their uh, traffic into, a, in, in, into the edge computing uh, data center. So, we, so the, there are two parts. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, a build. Mm, it's built separately. So why we want to choose OpenShift, I have listed the four reasons here. So OpenShift is the most mature open source project which supports Kubernetes nearly. And before I joined the uh, China Mobile, I, I'm, I, was, uh, I, I worked in Red Hat four years ago. So I was a Red Hatter. So I know it is very stable. And now we start to develop a project based on the Kubernetes. So we choose the OpenShift as our basically a Kubernetes. And OpenShift provides at least 10 layers of the container security. So container host and multi-tenant, container platform, network isolation, and so on. And OpenShift ecosystem is flourishing. So I know there is a lot of the telecom and the band companies and the industry companies. They all, they, there are a lot of companies are using it. So they have lower, um, so, they can, so they can use, use a few effort to move their application into our platform. So we can build up, we can build up our own edge computing data center. And open, our OpenShift always brings amazing features from open source communities. So it um, seems a lot of the companies have using the OpenShift uh, 4.0. 4 we are, but now we are using the Kubernetes uh, 3.0. So we have to catch up with the uh, other guys. So Sigma is the edge computing platform in China Web So we, uh, exper we have a lot of experimental uh, environment in China, for example, in Zhejiang, uh, Guangdong, and Beijing. So I, so we can see this. This is our uh, architecture. In the red part, is our is edge computing operational uh, management. Uh, it, it maybe it, uh, we can uh, think it is in the uh, in the center of the the, the area. For example, in Beijing, and they can manage uh, a lot of the problems in China. And for the green part, is, is our edge computing data center. So it can run on uh, 10 bare metal machines or 20, 10, uh, 20 uh, bare metal machines. So we developed uh, some additional uh, modules. For example, is the cluster management and the uh, service routing module. So it's not like the OpenShift uh, routing uh, because uh, it's not uh, satisfies our requirement. So we developed it by ourselves. And, uh, and uh, in here, here is the third party uh, capabilities, industry SDK, awareness, and network capabilities. Uh, this is our from the uh, industry. Uh, so it's very, it's very uh, complex. We uh, do it uh, by case by, case by case. And we are, using, we are trying to use uh, uh, three skill to manage our uh, API. Uh, because uh, in some industry, we have to 
provide the API, and then we can uh, um, we can sell the API and uh, and uh, and uh, own the the money. So we can give the the billing. And for the uh, red, for the yellow part, for the yellow part is is a uh, edge computing gateway. So it was a small box. Uh, we didn't use OpenShift. Uh, um, we used the uh, uh, edge because it's very small. It's very small. So something like the uh, the the, the uh, a little box. Maybe it's wrong in the cell phone. So we so OpenShift 3.0. Uh, we uh, use a uh, uh, lot of the uh, GPU capabilities. So now I want to try. I want to introduce the uh, the use case. We uh, do we we do we, we uh, collaborate with the Baidu companies. The use case, auto vehicle in this computing. So we talked with the uh, uh, Baidu company uh, who has uh, joined their own uh, auto vehicles in Beijing. And they provide the requirement, and we build the, the, the architectures. So at, at top of this is the Baidu Cloud. It sounds like a, a AWS, um, but uh, Baidu has, their, has uh, their own public cloud. And there is a Sigma. Sigma is, uh, is uh, I just uh, I told you, I told, just to talk about this. It's uh, our edge computing uh, platform. And uh, at the bottom, uh, at the bottom of this um, uh, this paragraph, we can see there is a 5G network and uh, some the aware network. So the procedure, the workflow is a video stream is saved in the edge node uh, Sigma, and the, the AI, which is the application running in the Sigma, and the AI operates the video stream in edge node, and then sends the result to the uh, to the ICO, ICO we can regard, we, we can we uh, regard, we can think it is a, a machine uh, in the uh, in the car, and send the uh, and send back the data into the Baidu cloud. This is public cloud, and ICO ICO send the result to the car uh, through the, C, uh, the PC five interface. So this is uh, the the, uh, the architecture we test we test in Beijing. In, in Beijing. So why we choose two ways? One is the 5G wireless network. Another one is a wire net, a wire network. Uh, it's, it's something like the way we provide the VPN to uh, to Baidu, uh, because they want to uh, to uh, to balance. If the 5G, the price. It, the price uh, is if you using the 5G, the price is too high, so they can transfer it into uh, use the, the the wire network. So uh, he uh, balance the two technologies, and but when we test it, we find that we find that the wire net is too slow, it's too slow, and it costs a lot of the time. So experimental environment here is uh, I'm provided. Is application because a Baidu the applications are always containerized, and the, they are the applications uh, have already run running in the Kubernetes. So we have we so it can easily run on 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 push open shift. So their requirement is the binary is a uh, uh, six Mbps upload stream per camera uh, latency. So why we want to use edge computing? Because it can provide low latency. The latency of the data flow from camera to edge computing server is less than 100 milliseconds. The latency of the edge computing server give the result that we will send to the response is less than 50. A network latency is less than 2 milliseconds. Purely, and there are two data centers here. One is the edge computing data center, and another one is a public cl cloud cloud data center. So the application will very uh, complex. So you can send the data to to the car and send the key data to the uh, public cloud. And and uh, uh, in the future, there will be a lot of the edge computing data center. So all of these applications are distributed. 
So in this experiment environment, uh, we chose the two street intersection inter, uh, and deployed totally 26 cameras. There's a lot, there's an interest in, in Barcelona. I didn't see any camera in the street. But in China, there's a lot of the cameras. So 26 cameras in two street intersections. And it calls a lot of the data. And the camera that I still needs the electron, electron power. Um, because when, uh, because they are all uh, the, uh, the, the, the machine, it can need, need their power, but when we, uh, when we set up the, the camera in the uh, light, the single light, who provides the, the electronic power? So I have talked with the government, and the government provides the, ele the, the electronic power, but uh, it will cost a lot of money. So the schedule is here. Uh, we in February, in, fa in, uh, in February, we uh, is a, a detailed design, and now we start in testing and debugging. It's still in the testing, under testing now. And in the next month, we will finish the testing. Here's some pictures. You can see the cameras, and there is a, a single light. So I want to uh, introduce some challenges when we are working on it. So there are two s challenges here, at least One in the storage, one in the GPU. So just uh, I mentioned that each camera will uh, upload uh, six uh, Mbps. So there will be uh, 64 GB day disk, only one camera. But we have the 26 cameras. So it will use more than one PB per day. But, but Baidu company told that we have to keep three months of data. So it will cost 100 TB. But I just mentioned that in the H computing data center, there are a few bare metal machines here. But so this is so huge storage. So we have to use uh, some other technologies to, to reduce the data in the edge computing. So why we choose to send the video stream instead of image? So we, uh, we talked with uh, by the companies, uh, and they said that the, if we use the video, we, have, we can uh, use the, the, the some, um, some model modern uh, some uh, new technologies to, uh, to, re to, uh, to reduce the, the, uh, the data flow. But, but, yeah, but one second, almost one MB. So it's so lot for a long time. So we will think it later and talk with the, about if they can use the uh, use image instead of Another is the GPU. Uh, and because in the age computing the data center, so the, the, uh, the machine is not like, as, not like in, uh, the machine in the, uh, in the data center. So it's, it's small. It's small. We call it the OTI, which has to be defined with uh, China Mobile and other companies, something like, uh, like the Baidu, Alibaba. And uh, because the, the, the machine is, is, small, is smaller, but for uh, this ex for this experiment, we have we have uh, we have ensured that each server needs at least three GPUs. So three GPUs is okay. So the the the, the, the machine can have the three uh, PCIe. So you can put the three GPU. But the GPU costs a lot of the uh, electronic power. So we will need to rebuild our edge computing. Center, because the edge computing center is not like the edge, the 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 the, uh, the, the, uh, the um, computing center. Because that, because 
the eight computer center maybe is built near our building, our home, near the uh, our industry, and the electronic is limited. For example, if in in China there is a an old building and it can only support three key W. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, three key W. But if we put a lot of GPU. The, the data center, the each data center can't support it. So we have to reduce the, the, the resource we have used in edge computing. But in the data center, we don't match these problems. We have a lot of uh, spaces to, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, we have a lot of space to put our bare metal machine in here. And we don't worry about the electronic power. But in edge computing, we have to thinking things like how to reduce re resource. The container technology is a better one. So why we want to use the OpenShift here? And uh, to be continued is that we are uh, doing a lot of the things in the future. So now we uh, collaborate, with, collaborate with the tritium companies. Uh, they will provide the API and the China State uh, Construction. Uh, they provide the APP. The, the application, but the application is running on the virtual machine. The, we, they only have three bare metal machines. But there we built the OpenShift here and enabled um, Covert to provide the virtual machine and give their the virtual machine uh, environment so they can put their application running on it. And other is I buy two uh, companies and the blockchain. And in the next month, we will uh, deploy all the things in Zhejiang. It is a 4G MEC environment. And, in the, and later, we will uh, use OpenShift for, oh, yeah. Seems we are late. <laughs> Seems we are late. But in, uh, in the August, we will uh, integrate with uh, Acrino, which is uh, a project in the Linux Foundation age. So its computing is very popular in, in China, and but seems in Europe and the and the the, the, the United States, I assume it's it's not, assume it's not. But the 5G is so popular. So we think uh, the 5G and its computing will bring more valuable things in our industry. Thanks for.